Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about the Walther PDP. This is a pistol that I have been looking at for a few months now and between this particular pistol and a another PDP that I was able to borrow from a good friend. I've got about 500 plus rounds through this and now have the ability to kind of present my opinions about this pistol. There are two major areas that I want to touch on and we'll get to that here in just a second, but there are also two people that I need to say a huge thank you to. Uh, number one is Such for letting me borrow this particular pistol right here and uh, my good friend and instructor Sherry, who lives in uh, Kansas City area, she has been able to let me borrow the other PDP we'll be talking about here in just a second. And then also I wanted to say a huge thank you to American Cash Exchange. They are the local shop here in town. Uh, I live in Manhattan, Kansas, and they are the shop that I go to whenever I need something on the quick. Uh, whether it be ammo or product for a review to you guys, they are the shop that I go to here in town and they are the oldest gun shop here in town as well. So that should say a lot about uh, their business, their, uh, their dealings and how they like to take care of the community. They've taken care of me and I really do appreciate it and I wanted to say thank you to them. All right, so let's talk about why I believe this is the wave of the future as far as pistols go moving forward. I believe that companies will probably be looking at the PDP for new designs, uh, new introductions into the market and stuff like that. And I know that that's a bold statement, but let me get into the three reasons why I feel that way. Now here recently, Gun Thoughts did a review of the PDP and they were kind of like, eh, it was okay, but they actually preferred a Glock 34 over the PDP when it came to shooting competitions and um, doing IDPA, USPSA matches and stuff like that. And that's fine, they can feel that way. But I think they missed a really important point and that is you're getting all the different features in this pistol for about $600. And coupling that with not only the fact that you're getting a Walther pistol and everything going on with this, that is extremely big. So what are the three things that I believe kind of makes this a bit of a game changer? Well, first it is the fact that it comes optics ready. Now for my YouTube manual reviewer, this pistol comes optics ready from the manufacturer. There is no modifications done on this pistol. Here is a picture from Walther showing this pistol having a red dot mounted to it so you can see from the manufacturer it comes optics ready. So with that being said, that is huge. You don't have to worry about deciding whether or not you are going to purchase just a standard pistol or the optics ready version like you would for a Glock 19 or a Glock 19 MOS. Usually if you're buying the optics ready version, it's going to increase the cost a little bit. Walter already has that from the manufacturer, so that is really, really good. And it doesn't it doesn't increase the price because there's not a non-optics ready version. So there's that. The second thing is the PDT or the Performance Dynamic Trigger. And uh, that is something that is really, really nice. They've taken the PPQ trigger and have actually improved it. So that's something I really do like. We're gonna go ahead and get uh, the trigger gauge on here so you guys can see if I can get this on here without it slipping. I'm gonna get it set at right about four and a half pounds. Just a little, let's see if I can get that in the screen there. Just a little less than four and a half pounds. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I have been consistently getting four to four and a half pounds on this trigger pull. Now, if you're interested in the take up, here is your take up, your break, and then your reset right there. Really, really nice. I like this pistol. Now, the, the trigger, um, as far as how it is set up. I've never really shot a PPQ, but if this is the upgraded version, I really do like it. And that would mean that this would probably be the top three triggers on 
the pistols that are out on the market today as far as um, the crispness of the brake, the reset, a really good solid wall. The other two would be the CZ P10C and then the Canic TP9 series of pistols as well. So this trigger does this pistol really, really good. Finally, the last piece that I think is pivotal in this whole argument is the fact that Walther is offering this pistol with two different frame sizes and then three different slide links. So if you're looking for a pistol that has a compact frame but a long slide, which is something that a lot of people have been asking for in the concealed carry market, then you're able to get a five inch barrel version in a compact frame. Conversely, if you want a X style pistol, so like a Glock 19X where it has a full size frame but a short slide, you can get the four inch barreled version on a full size frame, giving them that larger real estate on the grip and then a compact length of slide. And then in between there, you have a 4.5 inch barrel. So of the three, you have a four, 4.5 and a five inch barrel. So you can kind of pick and choose exactly how you want this pistol to be set up. And that's something that I really, really did like. Again, all three of those features for about $600, you're putting this right in par with a Glock 19 MOS and you are getting far more than uh, you are getting from the Glock offering, in my opinion, uh, because of all the different attributes that it comes with straight from the factory and the fact that you're able to pick and choose exactly how you want this to be set up is an extreme bonus. In addition to that, you're going to have a really aggressive grip texture here, but it's not so over aggressive that it's going to be um, concerning when you conceal carry it. It has really nice slide serrations here because of it having an optic on it. You know, that can kind of get in the way with you trying to slingshot this so you can pull from the front and you're not going to tear up your hands because these are not very sharp at all. Even though they are aggressive, they're not sharp and that's really, really cool. And then I really like how they've contoured this grip right here, especially with this lip. They had that on the PPQ and with this being optics ready version, I really do like that because that is a reminder for me to add a little pressure in my pinky as I go through my draw sequence. Putting that little extra tension on my pinky keeps that muzzle down, allowing me to find my red dot faster than I would with a normal pistol. So that is something that I really did like with this complete setup. So coupling all of these features together at the price point that it's at, I believe that is the major reason why uh, this will be the wave of the future as far as what other pistols will be trying to emulate in the future. Now, the second part of this is whether or not this pistol is a concealed carry pistol. And let's be frankly honest with uh, everybody here. If you are looking at this video, uh, you more than likely are not law enforcement. You could be, because uh, there's a lot of police officers out there and that's, that's great. Thank you for what you do, you know? But most of us are not going to be law enforcement. We're not gonna be contractors. And most of us are not going to be in positions in the military where we get to choose our own uh, firearm. So. The question then becomes, as a civilian, is this a concealed carry pistol? And my answer is no. I don't think that this is going to be the best pistol to conceal carry. And there's one major aspect for that, and that's going to be these slide serrations. Because of that, this is a very thick girl, and I'm talking two Cs. This thing is very wide and um, I don't feel as if this will be as good as a concealed carry pistol than a P10C or a Glock 19 or an M&P9. I believe that those have a thinner profile which would make it easier to conceal carry. Now, could you? Yeah, you could. You absolutely could, but I believe that it would be a little bit more challenging, especially for somebody my size. I'm just average, I'm actually kind of a little short, I'm like 5'7", um, pushing 185 normally. 
and um, yeah so this ends up being probably a little bigger than what I want to conceal carry but for a nightstand um, home defense type of pistol this would be really really good uh, obviously even the compact size frame is going to have a uh, pick a tiny section here on the dust cover for you to put lights or lasers or whatever you want to put on the bottom there. Again, optics ready and um, it is extremely accurate. At 10 yards, I was able to put rounds right on top of each other with the assistance of the red dot. So I really did like that aspect of it. Okay, we have Hornady XTP five rounds and then Hornady Critical Duty five rounds. Let's see what the Walther PDP does. Far as cycling. All right, now it's critical duty. And right in the uh, slide stop there, so ran just fine. So there kind of is my overview of the Walter PDP. Uh, I think this is a really great pistol. I think that this is, like I said, the wave of the future. I believe that this is what everyone else should be chasing moving forward. Obviously, Glock's going to Glock and, you know, Smith & Wesson is going to Smith & Wesson. Hopefully, other manufacturers will start doing um, some upgrades like the Walther PDP. Again, coming in right around that $600 mark uh, with all the different features that it came, uh, challenges the Glock 19 MOS or even the Glock 45 uh, to be a really, really good pistol for a lot of different people. But naturally, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Sound off in the comment section down below. Do you guys feel that this is what everybody else should be chasing or are there other pistols that you feel best this pistol and if there are let me know the reasons why sound off in the comment section down below and uh, let's have a chat about it again thanks guys patreon crew you guys are crushing it thank you for all your financial support if you guys are interested in supporting the channel in any shape form or fashion uh, the best way to do that is to share this video with your friends uh, that is one of the best ways to do that if you want to uh, contribute financially uh, my Patreon links are down in the description below. And if you don't want to do that, I have tons of links to products, not only uh, in the description, but also at fitandfire.com. So swing on by, check out my website and jump on some deals. Uh, that is a great way to not only save you guys money, but also to support the channel through affiliate links as well. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get out of here. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.